In this episode, we'll learn how to set up a data connection to our access database that we just created using OLE DB connection. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a module. And I'm just gonna call this access DB. Okay. So here is our module. Uh, first, let's um, import system data and then OLEDB. Okay, that will be, and then let's also do this import system diagnostic. This will be so that we can print it and see our data there in the output. And then uh, later on, we might also need to read from CSV. So let's do this. Okay. That will be it for now. Um, let's set up a public uh, a variable which will hold our OLE DB connection. Let's call this DB on uh, as a variable name and then OLE DB connection. And then uh, our path, shift right click, copy as path, and let's call this in. Let's paste this. Um, so that will be our database path. Now let's create a public function um, so that we can reuse this connection uh, from any of the sub procedures that we'll be reading. Uh, let's call this open connection. I think that should be it. And this will return as Boolean. Open connection. Okay, now let's try to connect to database and um, using try exception. Uh, so here we'll say um, connection dot connection string. Cool too. For those of you who have watched the prior, you know, like other database, uh, SQL, ADO, you know, like all these series, you must be already familiar with all this. Uh, if not, you can go and grab the connection string from this uh, website. Uh, it has all the, you know, like drivers and uh, connection strings. So it's a very useful website. For now, I'm just going to get this. Uh, otherwise, you can also you know, like we'll talk more uh, at a later stage how to connect, you know, like if there's a password and all this, okay? Um, so I just copied this part and I'm gonna come back here. Our connection string will be this, okay? And of course, the part will be okay, so that's our part. Um, and then now we're going to give you connection dot open. Now, if this part fails, then it's going to come down here. Uh, if this part goes through, then we want to return. Um, oh, uh, return true. Else, if it goes down here, that's where the error happened. And then we want to return false. Okay. And we can quickly test this out. So best. Um, so we can say if this if connection is true, then we'll say message box connected. And if it is connected, we want to disconnect this. We'll close the connection. Else, we'll say fail to connect. Now let's add a quick ribbon to this uh, project. Let's add a ribbon designer. Uh, let's call 
Let's just call this ribbon one. So we can add button to call this. Uh, otherwise, we can also directly add it to the worksheet. Um, if you want to add a button here, you can just go to the toolbar and then drag and drop the button. Okay, reasonable like this. Uh, it takes time to repaint. And you can double click here and then you can add the code. Oh, yeah. And, uh, so I think for now, let's go with this. Fire this up in debug mode. So it says fail to connect. Uh, now is a good time to debug. Mm -hmm. Close this and end it. Uh, let's see what is wrong. Now what we can do is just disable this try catch for now. And let's try and run this again just to see the error. Okay. Or we can put a message box here. It will be saving a message. Okay, so it says cannot use this file is already in use. Okay, so the first time when we create a database, um, it's you know like an exclusive of uh, mode. So uh, we'll just close this, okay, and uh, we can reopen it so that the mode is uh, not in uh, exclusive mode, allowing others to also connect to the same database at the same time. Okay, now let's go ahead and try again. I'm just gonna bring back. is connected okay so uh we are now uh we have successfully set up our connection to the database in the next episode we will start uh running our commands and uh using more uh other functions and methods